honored to have Mary Moss Wirt make it official today as she is going to Elon University. And your father, Todd Wirt, just told a, a funny story about um, he was, he, that's where he played baseball for those who don't know. And you were, uh, he was undecided about, or he was unclear about what your intentions were when you first visited Elon. So what led you to Elon? Um, well, definitely, both my parents going is a huge deal, and just growing up going to all the baseball games and football games and basketball games, like, I just love the atmosphere of Elon and the campus is beautiful. I love that there is a smaller university, so the class sizes are smaller. Mm -hmm. So, definitely that. Like, I just love the, I love the softball coach mm -hmm. and the atmosphere of the softball team, so You won't feel that. like a number there. No, definitely no. not. Mm -hmm. The fact that your father played baseball at Elon, do you think that led you to almost, I'd use the word destiny now a lot lately, but did that make you destined to play a diamond sport? Oh, and, for sure. Yeah. Like, definitely. He definitely shared his love for baseball with me and carried that on yeah. with me. So. You got hurt one night against Carborough playing basketball, yes. and during your speech here, you think your trainers. How tumultuous of a time was that for you? It, it was a really hard, just coming back, like completely rebuilding that muscle in my leg and having to bend it um, to where I could squat and catch again. It was tremendously, like probably the biggest thing I had to go through yeah. as an athlete who wanted to play Division One softball. So, but without them, like my two trainers, like I could not have done it. Yeah. So what, what were those days like? Oh, uh, I mean, it was just days where I could barely, like, bend it. It took me a while to just, like, completely put all my weight on it. Like, walking upstairs hurt. And, I mean, just days like that where I just wanted to pack everything up. Yeah. But I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Still can't forget about what you did in basketball. And how hard, you're good friends with Aaliyah here. Mm -hmm. And how tough was it not to play alongside her? Oh, it was really hard. Like, I didn't, I wanted to be there. I think I was at every game I could be after yeah. my injury. Yeah. I just wanted to be there for her and the rest of the team. Yeah. So now you're moving on. You're going to play in the Colonial Athletic Association yes. with all the conference reshuffling. No telling what that league's going to look like by the time you, you get to be a freshman. But, um, what are you looking forward to when you finally start playing? You're, you're hoping to play catcher, right? Yes. I mean, that's my primary position, but I'll just find a way on the field. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've always been kind of a utility player, so I think that'll come in handy when I get to college. Yeah. Do you think by that point your brother will be a better front thrower by that? I would hope so. <laughs> Describe, but for those who don't know exactly what I mean, you're, you you ask your brother to throw to you, right? Yes, he just like tosses it to me, and it's absolutely terrible. And then we end up fighting, and it's just <laughs> something. I hope they don't get too vehement with your arguments there. <laughs> no, they get pretty bad sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, regardless, uh, Gid did play a role in mm -hmm. helping you with this. Uh, yes, this for sure. Today, and what are you hoping to study on when you get to Elon? Um, I really don't know what I want to be. I think I'm gonna major in business. So. Okay. Well, you have plenty of time to figure that out. Yes, sir. And the softball season. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's going to be most of it. Well, Mary, congratulations. Thank you. And uh, we'll talk to you again in softball season. Thank you so much. <laughs>